Hello everyone. In this video, we are just going to build our first ever program in MicroPython for Raspberry Pi Pico W. That is LED Blink program. So LEDs are most probably, as we know, it is an output device, which is useful for indicating some output from a microcontroller to the outside world. And we very well know that from the previous video where we explored the data set of Raspberry Pi Pico W, we have an onboard LED which is connected to GPIO0 of the microcontroller. So for accessing this particular LED, we may need to use the string LED. We cannot directly access the pin using the Tony IDE. Instead, we just want to provide the string LED. And for connecting the LED to other pins such as GP0, GP1 till GP25, we can just use the numbers from 0 to 25 for pointing to that particular pin. So now I am just going to blink the LED that is connected to the GPIO0 of the microcontroller that is the onboard LED in Raspberry Pi Pico W. So as the first step, I'm just going to create a new file. Just click on this particular icon or Ctrl N in your keyboard for creating a new file in Tony ID. I'm saving this Ctrl S or file save. Go to the respective folder where you want the Python scripts to be saved. Here I'm just saving this with the name LED Blink. And the first module that we want is the mission module. So we just want to import several modules required for building the python script first module is the mission module which is most widely useful for accessing the digital output or input pins in the microcontroller and the second module is time so for uh, building an application based on time intervals you can just import and use methods available in this particular time module and following that you just want to configure LED pin as output pin. This is the first step. So for doing that we just want to declare and define a variable. I am just naming it as LED. You can name it whatever name you want as per your need. And then using the mission module I am just going to use the pin method. And to this pin method, as I mentioned, the first argument is the pin number that you want to configure and the next argument is the, the configuration that you want to do. So the pin number, as I mentioned, I just want to use the LED string and the next uh, parameter or the argument is the configuration that you want to do. In my case, I just want to configure this particular pin as out pin, output pin. So I can write like mission.pin.out. So when I write like pin of LED, comma mission dot pin dot out, this LED pin, onboard LED pin in my Raspberry Pi Pico W will be configured as output. And following that, I'm just going to write an infinite loop. And inside the infinite loop, I'm just going to use the variable LED and the value 1. This will turn on the LED pin, which is configured as output. And instead of this out, you can also write in for configuring this as input pin. And instead of this LED, you can write the numbers from 0 till 25 for configuring the respective GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. So this can be done. Now, this particular program must turn on the LED that is connected to uh, GPIO 0 of the Raspberry Pi Pico W development board now i am just going to run this by clicking on this particular icon or f5 in my keyboard you can see my onboard led in my raspberry pi pico w is turned on so we successfully turned on the onboard led available in raspberry pi pico w and now let's try to toggle the state of this LED for building the application of LED Blink. Now for that I have turned on the LED. After this I am just going to use the method sleep inside the 
time module for producing one second delay. So when I write like time dot sleep with the parameter one, it produces delay of one second accurately. And after that, I'm just going to write the value zero to the LED. And again, I'm just going to produce one second delay for the zero. So this value method will help you to write the value to the digital pin whether it is 1 or 0 you can just directly write the value using this value method now i'm just saving this and i'm going to run this program by clicking on this particular icon you can see my onboard led in my raspberry pi pico w development board is toggling at a rate of one second turned on for one second turned off for one second and we have another function called toggle which does not require any parameter but it toggles the state whenever this function is called so this particular instance LED.toggle will help you to toggle the state of LED before if it was high it will make low before if it was low it will make high and again it will for one second so this also toggles the state of LED uh, connected to LED pin now when I try to run this program you can see I am getting the same output and when I change the time here to 0.1 that is 100 millisecond delay between each state toggle I am running this program I will get the LED blinking at a faster rate of 100 milliseconds for each state 100 millisecond on and 100 millisecond off so thus we demonstrated the LED blink using Raspberry Pi Pico by developing the relevant Python scripts in Tony IDE and now let us try a different thing that is let us try to connect an LED to other GPO pins rather than the onboard LED. So we have this much of GPOs from 0 to 28 available in this particular uh, Raspberry Pi Pico W development board. Let's connect the LED to this particular GPIO 50. So what I will do is I will just connect a resistor right over here of 220 ohms to 1 kilo ohms and following that I will connect the anode of the LED and cathode I will connect it to the pin number 18 that is ground so this is the circuit that I am going to build I am just going to connect a 220 ohm resistor and then to the 220 ohm resistor I will connect the anode and other end of the 220 ohm resistor I will connect the anode of the LED following that I am just going to connect cathode of the LED to pin number 18 of the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So this is the circuit that I am going to build and let's visualize the output in the hardware. Before that I am just going to vary this program a bit. I am just going to make this pin number 15 since we know that we are just going to connect the LED to GPIO 15 and here I will make the toggling rate to half a second 0.5 seconds and I have saved this now let me just build the circuit in my breadboard this is a very very simple circuit 220 ohms I am just going to connect it to pin number 20 of Raspberry Pi Pico and uh, other end of the 220 ohms resistor I am just going to connect it to anode of the LED and uh, cathode of the LED I am just going to connect it to pin number 18 of Raspberry Pi Pico now I am running the script my LED which is connected to GPO 15 is toggling at a rate of half a second I try to decrease this, this to 0.1 it is blinking faster when I make it 1 
it blinks at an interval of one second one second it is on one second it is off so we successfully demonstrated the led blink with using the onboard led and also using the external led so i hope you learned something new in this particular video see you in the next video thanks for watching